Welcome to Gaisu Corona. I'm Angela Abraham Parks. The corporation's strategic goals are concerned with creating and delivering more value from products and services. While there is equal focus on core responsibilities, management in the business of sugar is transitioning to embrace initiatives. This week's program draws on the industry significance in the transition and commends initiatives on partnerships, team building, and youth development. Stay tuned for more Gaisuko Round. From the very land that gave sugar around the world the name Demerara comes the finest quality of cane sugar, Demerara Gold. Enjoy the real thing from the original source, the rich, fertile Demerara coastline where sugar cane has been harvested since the mid-17th century. The result is here for you to enjoy. Wherever this unique sugar flavor is needed, Demerara Gold is the ingredient that will always create a stir. Welcome back. We now join Georgiana Bowler as she continues with an update on the events in Sugar. Thank you, Angela. Hello, everyone. The second crop progresses into its fourth week. Managers at production centers recognize potential and remind of the importance of maintaining high standards in production, productivity, efficiency, and safety adherence. I urge all employees to ensure, because the human resource is the most important resource, and we need to protect ourselves, the experience, the knowledge that we have, we can't be easily replaced. And we need to protect and ensure that we adhere to all safety standards. Um, the Proterra standard so far, Alvin, has been doing well. We have room for improvement, and we're doing continuous improvement. And the Proterra standard also covers all aspects of production, including human rights, labor laws, um, occupational health and safety, the quality of sugar that we are producing, which is very, very important um, for the European market, and also the sugar that we are um, selling to the U.S. market, which require a high standard. And it is very important that the workers, staff, manage, especially cane delivery, that we have fresh, clean cane to the factory, and the factory could extract whatever we send to the factory and process it. Long ago, it was us deciding what we like to do. Today, we are being consumer-driven. Today, the outer market here is more uh, the one who determines us. The village, the community, the everybody out there depends on us. And to that I say to my staff and workforce that we need to deliver together as a team. Marketing of the commodity continues this week with shipments being made to countries in the Caribbean and the USA. 
The marketing and trade department has informed of shipments of packaged sugar to be made to St. Lucia, the Cayman Islands, Trinidad, St. Martin, and Suriname. While bagged shipments will be made to St. Lucia, Dominica, St. Vincent, and St. Martin. It's Education Month, and as school reopens, we remember our next generation, and particularly the children of our employees who are transitioning to a higher level. Congratulations to the children of employees who have been successful at the recently held Grade 6 Assessment Examination, the Caribbean Secondary Examinations Council, and other levels of assessment. Employees whose children have reached the requirements to qualify under the Bursary Award Scheme are urged to submit the completed forms to the Human Resources Department at the earliest opportunity. To close this segment, we present Reflections After Hard Work, including excerpts of remarks made at the 58th Graduation Exercise of Apprentices of the Gaisuko Training Center. As Minister of Education, I have a duty and so I want to give you a word of caution that knowledge in itself is not power. It is the application and implementation of that knowledge that is the power. So I ask that you carefully and critically strategize how to apply and implement the knowledge and skills you would have acquired. It is inevitable that this new generation will and is currently facing faster changes and challenges in the world. This auspicious occasion marks the end of one phase, but every end has a new beginning. The truth is, your learning will actually start from today. The real application of your knowledge and skills acquired across the varying disciplines will now be fully tested. The theoretical knowledge, as well as the practical experiences gained three or four years here, should not only become an achievement, but certainly the foundation of which your dreams and aspirations ought to be built. The opportunities will be there in Guyana for young people to take advantage of. And so you have a great future in front of you because the oil industry alone doesn't exist by itself. There are many spill-off industries and organizations and businesses that accompany oil and gas. And so you have an opportunity to develop your skills in those areas. This institution has given you the base, but you cannot afford to be complacent and sit around and take it. You know, you're not going to move. I expect in a few years' time, most of you would have been able to improve on your qualification and training to take advantage of the myriad of opportunities that will be available in our country. Guyana cannot develop unless we have a fully trained cadre of skilled persons readily available to take up work in the organizations and the industries that will be available in our country. Isuku Training Center Vision espouses a vibrant community of active and lifelong learners, both apprentices and staff, who are equipped with a strong foundation of core skills, attitudes, and the values to ride and the opportunities and possibility in the 21st century globalized world. Pursuing this vision is an innovative mindset that the school and staff embraces. We continuously seek new ways to improve our teaching and learning programs in the center to develop our students holistically. 50 well-rounded craftsmen and our lone female are graduating from this elite institution. 
their exemplary performance on the job at the Three Gaisuku Estates, Skelden Energy Inc., and the Demerara Distillers Limited, together with the achievement of 52 distinctions and 65 credits at the Guyana Technical Education Examination are commendable. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> GTCPM has completed another recruitment of 31 apprentices, inclusive of three females, who will make up the next cohort on August the 5th, 2019. The next NTPYE program will commence on September the 2nd, 2019. Sports and culture continue to add value to the cohorts of the center in their learning, personal growth, and well-being. The center held its inter-house games of volleyball, cricket, football, table tennis, basketball, and domino competitions. Also, a number of apprentices from GTCPM recently represented Guyana in a volleyball tournament held in French Guyana. Life is a wonderful journey, a course that you set and which is determined by the choice you make each day. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So as you step out to meet the world with your mind prepared and your skills tuned, I urge you to set your direction with a positive attitude and strong spirit. Finally, I want to wish you endless success, and I hope that you will continue to enjoy the opportunities to practice those skills and the knowledge you have obtained through the apprenticeship program here at GTCPM. Um, my name is Falana Simpson. I'm originally a Rosal apprentice, but due to the closure, I was sent to Blairmont Estate to complete my training as an agri mechanic. Being the lone female apprentice in this graduating group, uh, were you the only female to start? No, I wasn't. It was me and another female from Albion Estate. So it was two of you guys? Congratulations on behalf of the uh, head office communications team and uh, thank you for taking time out to talk to us today. Thank you. Thanks. So my name is Michael Manroop. I'm from uh, Playmont Estate. I'm a fitting machinist. You don't only do fitting and machining, you are exposed to other different um, trades like welding and other, dif other different um, areas. So you get a wider knowledge about the factory of a whole in terms of the sugar process. Now that you've graduated, I note that uh, you are the valedictorian for your graduating class. What does that mean for you? Well, I'm very, I'm very um, grateful. It was a lot of hard work and I'm thankful that they awarded me the position and that's it. The Cultural Heritage Sugar Tourism Program, which was birthed as part of the corporation's strategic vision, is evolving nicely, reaping positive results. In the month of August, the corporation extended its level of partnership with tour agencies beyond consultations to facilitate training for potential tour guides. Recently, the Cultural Heritage Sugar Tourism Program afforded tour agencies visits to sugar heritage sites in the West Demerara and the East Burbis locations. Iflat and Albion modeled our information source in the business of sugar, assessing heritage sites and presenting a sweet experience for tour agencies and members of the media. Oh, I think the tourism here is wonderful. I want to go drive in a punt. I want to go and take a, take a punt drive down the, in the afternoon and sip a nice drink and watch the sun set in being pulled by two bullocks. I think this you can sell easily. This is, this, is, this is what they're looking for. The fastest growing tourism in the world today is cultural and food tourism. For me, the good word of workers. When it comes to the workers, in terms of tourism, the workers add to your product. In yes. terms of culture, the workers are a big part of the culture. From the way they talk, the way they work, the comments, every single thing. Because as um, we spoke in the previous meeting, when it, talks, when it comes to Kralis, you know, it's something that we should, it, it's ours, you know. That's who we are. It, it, was, it was absolutely amazing today. For me, that was my highlight of the tour. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I, if you can include like one two collectibles, I'd like to have a water One and two? Collectibles. I'd like to have a water pouch. I'd like to have the fancy hat. You know, these things. Small they, have, things. they make it themselves. They make it themselves. Yeah. I was really looking at how he would manage the entire group. And I must applaud him because he is knowledgeable about the product. He knows exactly what he's talking about and that's wonderful. This is not just organized for um, this uh, this farm tour, but it's going to be, because of the nature of our operations, this is going to be a part of our uh, modus operandi as it relates to our way of operating, as it relates to conducting tours on our locations. I want to add my personal thanks to all of you who took the time off to be here today, to um, look at what we have or what we are proposing to offer and give us your, um, your views, your opinions and, and what to take and make it sell a bit. We thank you tremendously for that. I want to also thank the estate management. Without you visiting and the estate management providing the arrangements in place, we do not have had a product So for that, um, we also extend thanks to you. Angela Valdalvi, our coordinator for the Cultural and Heritage Sugar Tourism Program, and um, Ms. Ramel as the commercial manager. They will really be managing this. The Cultural Heritage Sugar Tourism Program is a new business line and is one of the three value-added product visions of the corporation. Good morning everybody, my name is Annette Arjun Martins and I would like to congratulate the team here, Adriana and her um, team for this initiative. As a tour um, tourism operator with over 30 years of experience, I think that it's um, going the right path and I'm just pleading for those that are uh, in power that could make resources available for us to make the resources available to actually implement what we've spent the whole morning discussing. But all of our ideas here uh, will be put on paper, but they'll be um, pointless unless we can actually start getting the resources to make it happen. I'm committed to offer my 30 years of knowledge, free of cost, to help in any way possible. All I need is an open mind and to be provided with information that I could use to be an ambassador of your new tourism uh, cultural heritage um, initiative. The other ventures, White Sugar and Co-Generation, are aimed towards building more resilience and sustainability into our business. The discipline of sport continues to prove being result-oriented indeed. The corporation extends heartiest congratulations to Mr. Vijay Rahim of Blamont Estate, who has powered up to claim the best male lifter title in the Guyana Amateur Powerlifting Federation Raw Nationals title. School life was really rough because, uh, to tell you the truth, I went to um, TA and um, I had like one month to um, complete the course that I was doing, and uh, teacher ended up on, you know fall sick and then it was a rough time and um, my father, um, he's a cane, cane harvest also so he, um, he ended up with a back injury so I had no money for passage and you know things like that so I had to drop out so I dropped out from school and you know start working at the seafood, star seafood and then then I had to be at estate and the only job they had available was cane harvesting. So the cane harvester told him that I, I'm a power lifter because I love the sport so bad. I used to go in the back down and work and then come home, catch a rest, then hit the gym. And I was be cramping up in the gym because, you know, the dehydration. So um, he said the only job available right now is um, security. So uh, I decided to take a job and I elevate myself from there and uh, I get better. And, uh, achieve a constable now. I think everybody should go to a gym whether you, um, you're into lifting or not because you know health you know, your body is very important because only one body you have so when that finish it finish so everybody should take care of their body and exercising every day you know help you to live longer because you have a lot going on right now because I get a fitness gym so I just gotta run the gym then I, I'm a part-time farmer so I just gotta do um, the, the job at the estate so it's very difficult, the time is not there. But I still try, you know, try to, you know, 
to get better in the reading and, and everything. Then to the Gaisuko Training Center female team, which lifted the title at this year's volleyball tournament. Well, the score in the second game, 6-9. That's news from around the Sugar Belt for this week. Centuries later, the business of sugar features prominently and holds on to its responsibilities to employees historically, economically, and socially. This has been Gaisuko Roundup. Thank you for staying tuned and do join us again next time. I am Angela Abraham Parks. Goodbye.